There are two interesting upcoming figures from the Mayfax. One is from the Marvel and another is from DC. Coming right up. Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm DCSG81 and if this is your first time watching my video, welcome to my channel. This is where you'll find me doing reviews for action figures, custom heads and accessories as well as some comparison and all sort of fun stuff. So I hope you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss out any of my latest toy news. Okay, so uh, in my last video, I actually mentioned that uh, the Mayfax have actually announced overall pictures like a summary for the Mark 85 Iron Man from the Avengers Endgame and finally they have released more pictures for the pre-orders. So let's take a look at the Iron Man right now and I must say that first impression it just looks very very good here. Yep, it kind of like uh, reminds me of the ZD toys that you guys remember that uh, the China uh, manufactures Iron Man because of the overall build it kind of looks very very uh, I would like to admit that it does look proportionally better as compared to the SH figures like many of you actually mentioned and yeah it just looks very very good and next we will see the close-up of the figure wow I mean it just looks very real like like it just came out from the movie itself yep very very clean okay After the next picture we'll see some uh, poses of him <laughs> yeah again this one it just makes the overall uh, paint of the Mark 85 looks very stunning okay I just hope that the final product actually looks like that okay and then we have the signature superhero landing pose which actually poses pretty well I'm, I'm actually quite surprised that he can do this pose and still looks good okay yep wow okay and then of course you will see some of the accessories that it comes with and the first one is the flying effects the blast effects whatever you like to call it yeah this is a must-have for any Iron Man figures okay looking pretty good there yep and then there's this pose that I think uh, the SH frequents kind of like have the same pose as well okay taking the uh, uh, nano blitz yep as well as the nano blaster that we can see right there Okay, these are the accessories that was given by the uh, SH figures as well if I'm not wrong, okay? <laughs> yep, and of course the very very one that you guys want is the uh, lightning focus uh, repulsor or something like that. I kind of forgot the terms. Yep, okay, this, is, this looks very very good. The next picture we will see is all the accessories that it comes with. I must say that I think these are not the uh, full accessories that it comes with because they did not include the uh, the blast effects and I know your next question will be where can you pre-order it and how much okay so we'll take a look at it right now so the pre-order has already been opened in amiami.com as you can see and the price will be giving you shock of your life because it does for me is around 12,600 yen which is about 119 usd yes it's 119 usd oh my god wow i mean this is crazy i mean it's like wow i couldn't imagine it to be a a five figure price i mean it's twelve thousand six hundred yen it's most of the time for the mayfax is around seven thousand at max is around eight thousand this is about twelve thousand yen this is really crazy i think they really pay a huge uh, price for the licensing of for this Iron Man it's really really crazy okay and as you can see there it will only be released in June 2021 which is next year okay it's a long wait for this one okay so the next one we will see is of course the DC which is the Batman and the Robin from the Frank Miller the Dark Knight Returns okay so the, I think this is the first time that uh, Mayfax actually released two figures at one go if i'm not wrong you can correct me if i'm wrong yeah so this this looks very interesting because of the uh, batman and robins together and also it's from the frank miller comics i believe a lot of you are actually fancy of that yeah this looks very good and the next picture you can see here is uh, kind of reminds me of something that is a uh, very uh, iconic because these posts are actually from the frank miller um, comics that you can see right now Okay, so, yeah, so these are actually a very well posted 
uh, trials for the figure it just looks very very good okay and of course we will take a look at the figures one by one let's start with the Batman okay so this one uh, yeah this looks very good and I believe some of you might uh, really feel the connection and similarity between this one and the, the other two the Dark Knight Returns uh, Batman the black and the blue one that uh, announced by Mayfax a few months back. Yeah, I'll show you some comparison on the similarity But let's take a look at it right now. So it just looks very good at least it's standing much uh, Taller and not just you know bending forward or hunching forward. This is looking I think this is actually much looking better. Okay, and of course the back view of it you can see the cape. Yep, and the next one you can see of course is the three interchangeable expression I kind of see the second and the third one kind of looks very very similar I don't know what's the difference there okay and of course the next one we'll take a look is Robin okay yep this looks very good for a kid <laughs> yeah so uh, yep some look of it I actually don't fancy a kid Robin yeah of course you see the back wheel he also have these Clothed uh, fabric cape, yeah, which is good. Okay, and uh, his expression is just two, as you can see. Uh, the is at least they change the expression. One is a uh, more happier one, and the hair flying up, of course, is for the flying pose. Yep, this looks uh, cute. <laughs> okay, and then we can see some Batman in actions. Okay, uh, jumping pose as well as the Robin jumping pose. Okay, yep, looks pretty good. Okay, and of course the last picture is the two of them together and this time we actually can see that the Batman just comes with an unmasked uh, head for the old Bruce Wayne. Yep, looking pretty good. And again this head scalp just looks very very similar. And I have actually do a, a few comparison with the existing one that they have uh, given us. Let's take a look right now. Okay, so as you can see the standing pose for these two Batman is Almost similar, like I say, uh, just that the new one seems to be able to stand a little bit more straight. <laughs> yeah, and the uh, some costume uh, difference pain because the the older one seems to be a little more dirty because it's better damage, and of course there's an extra uh, armor belt on his his tight, and also the different is the the bad symbols on his chest is different yep otherwise it looks pretty much the same and of course the new one is a lot more cleaner okay yep and then we can see the next one i would like to compare is the uh kind of the uh, amas head for the bruce wing yep you can see that these two pictures just looks very very similar as well as maybe we can actually take a closer look at the head being close up that you can see on this picture right now Okay, you can see even the angry expression is very very similar except for the older one which have some dirt on his lips because it's a better damage otherwise for the uh, Bruce Wayne yeah I think it's very much similar except for the previous one yeah it's a black eyes for the <laughs> the left eye is injured for the um, Bruce Wayne but this one is a more clean look of him okay there is another one which is the black color black man and uh, also from the uh, Dark Knight Returns that we will actually take a look right now okay and as you can see again it's looking very very similar just that one is in black and one is in blue yep and then the expression again is very very similar so it's kind of like you know the Mayfax is heading towards the uh, SHV Quartz path like they are recycling they are reusing and they are reissuing you know they just try to milk uh every last drop of it from the license that they have paid and the next of course you would like to know where and when will it come out and how much yep again it actually open for pre-order in amiami.com that you can see right here okay wow we already can tell that the price will be double because there are two figures right now so it's about thirteen thousand and five hundred ninety yen okay and uh actually if you feel this is expensive it is not as expensive as you compare to the mark 85 because this is the price for two figure as opposed to the mark 85 there is just one okay and it's about 
128 USD. I'm not sure what do you think, uh, whether it's uh, worth it or not. Do leave me a comment below and let me know whether you think the price justify for two figures, okay? And it's the same as the Mark 85, it will be released on June 2021. Okay, so if you pre order these two, I think it's enough to make a hole in your wallet on that month itself. Okay, so this is the news for the upcoming two very interesting Mayfax from the Marvel as well as the DC. Okay, so what do you think about it? I would like to hear from you. Okay, so do give me a thumbs up if you like my toy news. Uh, so far and also like I say leave me any comments below I would like to hear your thoughts about these two upcoming figures and whether the price justify for them okay for me uh, I don't think I'll be getting the mark 85 because of the crazy price is really really crazy okay and as for the uh, Batman and Robin uh, I kind of cancel my other ones uh, the, the blue and the black one I actually pre-ordered it but I actually end up uh, cancelling them because I just kind of feel that it's not necessary for my collections because I just like to have the hush version which I already uh, have it <laughs> okay and I don't think I need this uh, Frank Miller Batman okay so before you leave of course I hope you'll check out my playlist right over here and also do browse around my channel for more interesting toy news video or any review videos that you like to see and I'll see you in those videos bye